Next, we have MD Mahmoudou Hassan with looking at neurodegeneration through the eyes, AI-based diagnosis. Do you still have your grandma and see her around? If no, you are unlucky. But if yes, you are very lucky. But isn't it sad to see your grandma getting older and forgetting things? I guess my grandma had developed kind of neurodegenerative disease, such as dementia, Parkinson's, or Huntington's disease. The problem is she never want to see a doctor. In fact, she had seen a doctor, but she never want to see her again. She complains a lot. Doctors give a lot of tests. The tests are costly, takes a lot of time, blah, blah, blah. I thought for a while, well, well, the only thing she does routinely is eye test. In fact, she loves to see the optometrist regularly. Then I searched online, but what I have found is terrific. Neurodegeneration is one of the main reasons of death among Australians. The problem is there is no total cure of this disease, so the treatment depends on early diagnosis. That is why early diagnosis is very important for neurodegenerative diseases. I search more. Then I have found that there are certain changes in human retina due to neurodegenerative diseases. That means you can look at neurodegeneration through the eyes. Bingo! I got my PhD topic and I started working on it. In my PhD, I am developing kind of computer aided tool using retinal images for automated differential diagnosis of neurodegenerative diseases such as dementia. Parkinson's or Huntington's disease. You can say I'm kind of teaching the computer to look at neurodegeneration through the eyes, which we call machine learning or deep learning in computer science. In addition to diagnosis, prognosis is also important. So you can track the progression of the disease over time. I'm also working on it. Using my tool, if you do one eye test, you can be able to detect whether you have any potential chances of developing any kind of neurodegenerative disease later in your life. Thus, it will save time, money, and most importantly, the fear of going through such complicated diagnosis like MRI or CT scans. Well, let's get back to my grandma. I told her about the story of my PhD research. Now she's so excited because I'm going to complete my PhD by next year, and she's going to follow up with the optometrist. Don't forget about your grandma. Check up with her and ask her as well. Thank you.